everyone, this is Christine Newman, and today I'm going to show you how you can use your digital elements that you've purchased um, from the lily pad or anywhere else and um, have your silhouette digital cutter machine cut out the elements. Um, this is something that not everyone knows that the machine can do. You can purchase any digital files from anywhere and um, open them up in the Silhouette Studio software and then uh, have the machine cut it out. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, in this file, I've already dragged and opened up all the files that I want to print out and have the machine cut out. And I lined them up uh, on the on, onto my canvas in, in the new file in the Silhouette Studio software. What we want to do now is to have the machine find the outlines of each object so it knows where to cut the edges of your element. I'm going to select a few elements each time to um, find the cutting edges. So what you want to do is click on the trace window and then click on select trace area and then all you gotta do is drag, click and drag to highlight the, the elements to select so that it'll trace the outlines. When you do that, it'll show a yellow outline of all the elements and then I, I click on trace outer edge because I don't want it to cut out the center of this camera as a separate item, for instance. So I click on Trace Outer Edge, and then I go ahead and check to make sure that each element is, the cutting, cutting edge is correct on each element. The cutting edge will be drawn by a red line around the element um, inside the software. For the purposes of this video, I've gone ahead to save time and uh, selected each element and had it trace the outline. But I do want to show you one last thing. Um, this journal card on the right, sometimes it won't find the trace lines very easily and you'll have to adjust the settings. So I'll show you how you can do that. See how the yellow line isn't very clear? So now I'm going to adjust the, this high pass filter so that the yellow lines on the outside of the element is filled up almost so that there's no dots sitting around um, surrounding it. Once you're satisfied with how much you've increased it, then go ahead and trace the outer edge. And it looks like it did the job. This, uh, after some adjustments. So now we're ready to send it to the printer, but first we have to make sure it prints the registration marks so that the machine, that silhouette, knows how to um, use its laser to find the registration marks to find, to understand where your elements are to cut it out. So show registration marks should be checked and make sure that you have these um, lines on the three corners of your paper. And then go ahead and send to Silhouette. So now you're going to first click here to print and then click here. You'll, after you print, there will be a different um, menu selection over here. So I'm going to click print. Okay, so my printout came out from the printer, and I'm putting it on my cu cutting mat. And then now I need to continue to the cut page. And I loaded my page, and I want to detect the registration marks before cutting. So I click on Detect Automatically. Once it's successful, go ahead and click on Cut Page, and that's it.